Hi, lovelies. So, uh, my videos have been a little bit late because when I first wake up, I am, like, really, really ill. I don't know if it's just because, like, well, I usually am, like, sick when I wake up, but it's probably might, like, something to do with the antibiotics or whatever, but, um, I can't talk too long today because my mouth is actually hurting me quite a bit. Um, I hope that it's healing well, but I guess, like, I don't know, I guess my appointment anxiety is just getting the best of me because I really need to make an appointment to go in to see my oral surgeon because, like, A, he has my temporary tooth ready, but I'm scared it's gonna hurt, like, when they press it up there, and B, like, it's just, it doesn't make sense, I mean, obviously, anxiety is not rational, but it just aggravates me when I see the rationale, and, like, I still don't do it, like, I am making up all these, like, crazy things up in my mind, and, like, where the hole is, like, a clot forms, and one came off already, and then a second one came off, and, like, that's completely normal, but in my mind, I'm, like, oh my gosh, like, it's reinfected and now there's like a dry socket and like all these things like just you know my mind just goes and goes and goes like snowball effect and like the easiest thing for me to do is go to my oral surgeon and he will just go you're healing up great you know keep taking your antibiotic that here's your fake tooth until you want to schedule an appointment for an implant or whatever but, but then, like, I don't know, I get so anxious about going to the doctors again, because, like, I, you know, I already have the appointment anxiety, but then, like, going through what I just did the past week and a half has, like, seriously traumatized me, and because, like, you know, I'm in an unfamiliar area, even though I'm here, like, a couple months of the year, but, like, I don't, I've only gone to a doctor one time when I was here, and it was not, I mean, it wasn't a horrible experience, but it wasn't, like, the best experience. I waited an hour and a half in the waiting room, like, past my appointment time, but, you know, nothing, like, horrific or anything, but, um, other than that, like, I've never gone to a doctor or anything here, so, like, just coming here and having like to find someone within like a day and also like I just I was looking back at pictures that I took they took pictures the day that it started swelling which was the day we traveled 12 hours and like this whole side of my face is swollen especially right here and then I took a took pictures the second day and that was when like my whole face started to swell and I had swelling under here and down my neck I'm actually kind of glad that I didn't take pictures after that because I know it got twice as bad and looking back at those pictures is really freaking scary because I'm like I can't imagine like looking at myself now when I'm like with it on my face like that because I know I mean, I knew it had to have been bad to, like, freak my parents out that bad because my mom was, like, literally, like, my mom is, like, the sweetest little, like, little lady, and when we went to the endodontist, she was, like, my dad came in my room, and he put his hand on my head, and he said, we're gonna get this taken care of, like, not we're gonna try, or, like, we'll figure something out, he was, like, we're gonna get this taken care of, and, um, and then my mom came in and she said, they're going to either do something or they're going to immediately send you to the emergency room or somewhere else. We will get this taken care of or the cops will need to be called. So my, I mean, my parents were like really frantic. I guess it was like kind of like, I mean, obviously like I was going through the pain and like the like constant throwing up for like four days straight but I didn't have to look at myself like I could feel it but 
I didn't have to like keep looking at my face. I think that would have been really like really traumatizing. But anyways, um, it just made me like more scared to go back because I'm like I don't want them to like mess with my mouth and like there's um like sick like a cold going around everywhere here and like I don't want to like get it by like going out in public and <sighs> it's just so annoying for someone that has to go to the doctors so freaking much to have an anxiety about freaking going to the doctors like he's not gonna do anything to me it's not gonna hurt he's not gonna like give me needles or poke and prod me like they're literally just gonna fit like a retainer thing and just look in my mouth i don't know why I mean, I know why, because my head immediately goes to when I first went in there. He, um, he, uh, had me lean back and he grabbed a hold of this tooth and he moved it, like, all around. <laughs> and, um, I was, like, looking at the nurse, because she had her hands on my shoulders and she was like, just breathe calmly. I must have looked at her like, oh my gosh, like I'm about to die. And he kept saying, I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm not trying to hurt you. Like kept saying it. And I was like, no, why are you hurting me? Um, cause this tooth was like loose. It has like a little bit of mobility, but when you have an infection and abscess, it's eating away at your bone. Moving that tooth is so painful, but I mean, I didn't care at that point because I was just like, do what you need to do to like get this taken care of. But I guess that's what I think of when I go back there. Like, I don't want him like sticking his finger like in like where I had surgery and stuff like that. But I don't know. I just like want to be in this like safe cocoon bubble, especially when I'm like, on antibiotics because like. I seriously have had enough throwing up for the rest of my life. Oh my gosh. That was just horrible. And also, like, you know, now as I'm, like, getting better and better, and it's really cool to see you guys noticing that I'm getting better and better. I was actually thinking about it the other day. I was like, you know what? Like, probably my viewers probably notice the biggest difference in me because you guys see my face, like, all the time like you see it when like it's that time of the month and I'd be a little bit bloated you'd see it when I'm like in a flare where I take a lot of gabapentin and that puffs up my face and then you see it when I'm not and like you guys probably noticed the biggest difference in my personality and like the way that my face looks and stuff so it was just funny I was like yeah I probably noticed more than like you know my best friend because you guys see my face every day but uh I was just kind of reflecting back when I went to talk to my mom about how bad it was because I cannot remember, like, I mean, I lose, like, memory, like, like, for instance, my doctor, my surgeon, his name is not actually Dr. Bowtie, but I think it's really funny that y'all call him that. But I just call him that because I don't actually know what his name is. It starts with a B. I don't know. But I know what he looks like. I know what the office looks like. I know what my nurse looks like. I know what the building looks like. The reception area. The waiting room. But I couldn't tell you like what the name of it is. And I couldn't tell you his name. So like I, my memory is not the best. But when the first appointment I had where I went to the dentist. The day after the 12 hour drive. I have absolutely no memory of that entire day. I cannot remember driving. I cannot remember a waiting room. I cannot remember talking to a dentist, an x-ray, a receptionist, paying, nothing. And that's really scary. Like, the only other time I can think of that that's happened to me is when I used to drink and I would black out. So, and that's been, I, I mean, I, that's been almost ten, 10 years. Like, it's been a lot, like eight years since I drank, like, heavily. Um, so, 
it just kind of made me like dawn on me like how sick I really was that I was like that out of it because I mean it's not like I was like taking a ton of like medicine or anything I wasn't taking any medicine um but it was really funny I was also thinking about this too is um it oh the nausea is like my nightmare my nightmare I hate it I hate throwing up I hate nausea and my body just loves it every single thing that goes on with my body if I have anything going on it wants to throw up it's just like evacuate evacuate your stomach immediately but um they could take me in for surgery that day which we were in the waiting room of that office and I was talking to the receptionist I lost it like I well I was crying but I didn't have any tears because I was so dehydrated but I just said to my mom I can't I can't do this anymore like I can't I just can't do this anymore and like we weren't doing anything I just was losing it like I'd been like hallucinating I hadn't slept this was like the fourth doctor we've been to like I was done like as my brother would say when you're done you're done and like I was done and um I don't cry in public like that like I it doesn't matter how much pain I'm in if I'm like throwing up like nothing I hold it together in public like that's something I'm working on but that is firmly in my personality and like my family values so for me to like break down like that like huge um but they would not have been able to take me into surgery for i think 48 oh you know yeah 48 hours because first they they can't take you for 24 hours if you eat eaten or drank anything i hadn't been able to get anything down i hadn't even tried to eat anything and i, I tried to eat monday i had hash brown and I couldn't get it down. Hence the 12 hour throwing up drive. But also Lexapro, which is the antidepressant that I'm on, it sometimes has an interference with, um, I don't know, some of the sedation type things at the doctors, at the surgeon, at the, you know, surgery place. And, but because I had been like throwing up so violently I hadn't been able to take my medicine since Sunday night or something so it had been days and days and days so um even though it was so awful it actually worked out and it's like I guess like you know when you look back at things like I try to find like like God's plan and like a silver lining in it and like because I get fearful like I get fearful like oh my gosh I'm gonna go to like a doctor's office I'm gonna get like a flu and then I'm gonna be like throwing up non-stop again but then I have to like think like if I hadn't been throwing up and not able to get anything down even my medicine they wouldn't have been able to take me that day because we went in there for a three o'clock appointment and I was out of there by I mean, they took me back within, like, a half hour, 45 minutes. I mean, as soon as they saw me, they knew, like, this is an emergency situation. And they took me back for surgery. But they wouldn't have been able to if I had um, eaten or drank and or taken my Lexapro. So, um, it actually ended up being, like, a good thing. Yeah. Because, like, I would have to deal with that pain and infection, like, and that's just not something you want in your body for any second longer than you have to, is an infection like that. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, you guys seem to like these long rambling videos, so I have not been talking to anyone, so <laughs> that's what you guys are getting. Um, I hope you're enjoying them. I absolutely love your comments. I love the long comments you guys are writing. Oh, I just love them. I just love them so much. I might not get back to you, but I promise you I read them and I, like, have a conversation in my mind with you. 
and um yeah I just love them and I just love like learning new stuff about you guys and you know getting emails from you guys about your life and like I just feel so connected and um just makes us seem so much more I don't know incredible like to be able to make connections like this and be able to share things and you know I just love talking to you guys and learning more about you guys and um I even have like um I love watching your guys' videos for those of you that guys that make videos on YouTube and stuff and um you know you guys will tell me when you guys put a video up and Lori just did that and I was like oh thank god because I haven't looked at my uh YouTube in for like ever um and I was like, oh, I don't even want to go on because I was going to say I have, like, a hundred and some missed videos. And, like, I don't want to have to, like, scroll through all of them to look for, like, this this one and this one. But it was nice because Lori was like, I put a video up. Did you watch it? And I was like, God, as soon as she said it, I went and, like, watched it. And it just makes me smile so much. So, um, yeah, I've been trying my best to, like, keep in contact with you guys. I think I've been doing a pretty good job, but obviously it's not my the usual self or usual wanting to, you know, I like to comment to you guys like every day and write back and stuff, but <sighs> I just hope you guys are really enjoying the holiday season. I love hearing about what you guys love about Christmas um, in the comments down below. Let me know what you have for Christmas dinner or Christmas Eve because I know in some parts of the world or even the United States, some people have their like Christmas feast, Christmas Eve, um, which is my birthday. So that's when we have our Christmas feast because that's my favorite. Um, but it's just really interesting to me like the South has such different things and like you know, now that I live in the South, because I, I grew up in Pennsylvania, I don't know if you, I, you guys know that, but I grew up in Central Pennsylvania, so I'm very Northern, and then we came to North Carolina, and, like, all my friends are Southern, and it's just, like, like, we were out eating one time, and they were all talking about, um, menus for Thanksgiving, and I was, like, what? What? And, like, my friend, my best friend, Alicia, was like, yeah, look at this menu. Like, my Aunt Diana, like, she, she wrote it out. And I'm like, what? And it was, like, a full menu. Like, six different dressings. And, like, mind blown. Like, I just love stuff like that. So, um, I'm very interested to hear what you have for, um... Christmas if you have ham or turkey or um there's like this pineapple thing that my mom used to make I feel like for Thanksgiving or Christmas Ugh, I don't know what it was but um but yeah I just like all the different areas and knowing what you guys eat if you celebrate Christmas obviously it could just be which makes me sad. Christmas is so fun. And, um, but anyways, yeah, that's your choice and everything. But, um, so it could just be like tomato soup and a grilled cheese sandwich. I don't know. Um, but in my world, it's a family affair. And, uh, I just want to keep talking and talking, but I know it's going to hurt my tooth. And I'm going to be exhausted after this. I've been slowly but surely wrapping presents, and I've been, ugh, it just sucks. They're all sitting right here. Like, just, I love wrapping, and I, I got wrapping paper. Like, I don't know when. I remember being in the pharmacy and telling my mom, we need to go, and she was like, okay, yeah, I just need to wait, and I was like, no, we need to go, and I'm not, like, forceful with my mom like that, and I remember just being very, like, 
because I just started feeling so ill. So, I don't know when that was. Maybe, like, Tuesday after my appointment? I don't know when, but I got wrapping paper and, like, little things and ribbon and, um, but then it was all downhill from there. But, yeah, I've just been, like, slowly but surely, um, so, lots of people might get Christmas presents after Christmas. I'm sure that's fine with everyone, because y'all don't really care about that, but I just love it. I just I can't, I can't help myself. I, everyone I talk to is like, don't worry about the presents, and I'm like, I'm not worried about it. I just love it. Like, I just love for, like, y'all to, like open the presents on Christmas and text me like I love the this thing and I don't know what this thing was all about I'm not really into that but like you know I just love that but um but like maybe it's just meant to be you know maybe I'm not supposed to focus on that as much or something I don't know but I'm really going to it. I just love it but I'm just really thankful that I have been able to wrap some things Especially for my parents and um just slowly but surely like around this time at night been wrapping like one or two things oh the one year I don't get like big presents usually I get like a one big present for each person this year I decided to get like lots of little things and I'm like why uh, why this year did I get lots of little things instead of having to wrap one thing for one person but um yeah so i feel like i'm doing better i'm a little bit worried about this area being infected but i'm on antibiotics so i don't know how it could be and i'm just feeling really ill from the antibiotics i don't know if anybody else has that issue it might just be like a family thing because my dad gets super sick on antibiotics too but yeah it's rough but i'm going to lay down with my puppy she's feeling better and um yeah leave those comments down below and I'm sending out X double O's. And I hope you're having a pretty stress free day and enjoying the holidays and not stressing about pretty much all the things that I'm stressing about. Hello, I'm the pot calling the kettle black. Hello, nice to meet you. Um, yeah, so I I love you guys and hopefully I talk to you guys tomorrow.